Howdy again, everyone. Real quick, I uh, got the canopy back up on the airplane, of course, and I've got my center line here on the fuselage, and then I've got the line drawn from yesterday on the canopy. And I did my shimmying to let it nest, and it came awfully close to the line that I had originally drawn, so I just went ahead and shifted it over and lined the line back up. If it had been off like a half inch or something one way or the other, I would have been concerned, but it was very close. So I went ahead and just moved it over like an eighth of an inch to line it up. And just for grins, I grabbed my digital level and I set it here on the skin. And I've got it zeroed, right? Almost zero. Let me zero it here. So you can see maybe... That bottom number is now zero. And then I take this and I just put it up on top of the canopy where our, I believe the high point of the canopy is, roughly on center. And you can see, hopefully, that that bottom number is zero. What does that mean? Well, it means that specific point of the canopy is level with this specific point of the fuselage, and that's about it. But it's encouraging to know that the canopy is probably where it needs to be, where it wants to be in relation to the fuselage. So I'm keeping this line. I'm keeping my reference line, of course, on the fuselage, but I'm keeping this line on the canopy because that seems to be where it wants to sit. And according to the digital level, it's level with the fuselage, roughly. So, again, just another data point. Don't know if it really means much, but uh, it, it gives me the warm, fuzzy feeling that I like to have. So I'm going to go with it. All right. Talk to you later. Howdy, everyone. Well, you can see I am now outside. I've got my wood structure on a table. I've got the canopy out. I've got it... Uh, clamped in place so to speak and I've got this chair with some padding on the back of it so I have my line drawn the cut line is drawn and that was basically just with again having the, the canopy on the fuselage nested where it wants to be cross-referencing my center drawn lines with the lines on the fuselage and then uh, using a thin sheet of aluminum I just laid the aluminum over top of the canopy as a straight edge and just eyeballed it in relation to the line that was drawn on the roll bar and transferred the cut line onto the canopy using that straight edge. So I have it clamped. You can see um, it's, I have the canopy, if you will, squished side to side ever so slightly. Again, I don't want to in, introduce a lot of stress but as it sits on the wood, it, it wants to kind of spread out a little bit. So I just have it pinched a little bit to take some of the stress out of it. You can see where my cut line is here. There is no, no support structure underneath it on this end. However, um, there's like a, a pivot point here on both sides. And after I make the cut this back half is going to want to try to roll away from the canopy that's why I have this chair here and then the towel is just taking up the gap the chair wasn't quite tall enough so that will prevent it from rolling away from the canopy and onto the floor as I do the cut I will be adding tape across the cut as I go that will prevent that will help prevent this from trying to roll back and of course it won't be able to roll forward either because it will it can't really roll past the canopy the tape will help with all of that so that's it it's uh it's a warm day i'll talk more about the temperatures later but uh, for now i'm going to get suited up and i'm going to uh, try to separate these two pieces and see what happens all right talk to you later Howdy everyone. I am filming from inside the house through our sliding glass door because he does not want the little plastic particles getting in the gimbal mechanism for this camera. So 
I'm not sure how this is going to look. So he's making uh, what is referred to as the big cut. Cutting the canopy in half. And hopefully he'll have more to talk about over top of this video because I don't really know what else to talk about. I just wanted to capture some of it on video. Looks like it's going good. Alright, maybe I'll get more later. I'll just leave it here. You can watch in silence. I will have to stop this soon because I have stuff cooking on the stove and I need to stir it. <laughs> I'll come back in a little bit. Howdy everyone. Getting some more footage of him cutting the canopy in half. I said it before but um, I'm videotaping from inside through our sliding glass door so that none of the little plastic particles get in the gimbal mechanism for this camera. So hopefully you can see enough. I can't give much uh, information so I'll just let you watch. Maybe I'll get more later. All right, we're back, everyone, and you can see that it is now cut. I believe my wife was f doing some videotaping from inside the house. This camera is a gimbal type camera, and I didn't want to have it out here with all the uh, dust and everything flying all over the place, potentially screwing up the gimbals. So I haven't looked. I think she may have been videotaping, but. The cut is done. You can see how I had taped as I went along the way. I started to pull this tape off and I thought maybe I should videotape first. It went really well. Um, you know, again, just freehanding it basically. This is all going to get trimmed and, and fitted and finalized, uh, obviously, at some point. But, you know, just trying to follow the line as best I could by hand it came out fine. The tape held really nice, which is surprising because there's so much dust. It doesn't want to stick sometimes. The chair happened to be the perfect height with the towel underneath. It supported it really well from rolling backwards. 
and I really didn't have any issues. It really didn't move all that much at all as I was cutting. The ends or the bottoms were the were the biggest problem, but it wasn't a problem. It's just an observation that as I cut through the, the bottom end here, you can see how this kind of kicked out a little bit. I may have clamped this, the canopy. Maybe I squished it a little too much, although I didn't feel like I squished it at all. But just as I came through and, and cut past the corner here, this popped out a little bit, startled me because it, it wants to grab the bit or the, the wheel momentarily, but no big deal. Um, once it happened on the one side, I was expecting it uh, when I did the other side and it was a non-event. But other than that, um, it really didn't move hardly at all. So I'm going to, uh, it's it's odd at this point. It's, it's almost like, well, what do you do now? Because Vans says before you attempt to handle it or move it, you should clean up the edges. Well, how do you do that if you don't move it? You can't get in there and clean this edge until you move the pieces. So... I like using the wheel that I've been using with the Dremel because it does put a really nice finish on the surfaces as you cut. So I'm going to go ahead and separate these. I'm going to set them aside, probably move this crate out of the way, bring my, uh, my pad, my big comforter pads out here and put the canopy upside down on the pads and finish the edges on it. And then I'll do the same on this one. But for now... Happy camper. I'm going to take these, uh, separate these two pieces and uh, start sanding edges. Talk to you later.